What's good my friends, welcome back to my spaceship. In this video we are going to create some easy peasy balloons in Blender, quick and easy way. So let's go. Uh, we can delete everything that is in the scene right now. So I'm pressing A and then X to delete it. We are going to add a text now. So hit Shift A and search for text. Let's edit the text. So I'm uh, pressing Tab to um, edit it and writing Yo. And tap again to get back into object mode. So, okay, we can um, change the font now. So just um, click on this little A here. And let's open up font and choose a new one. Uh, you can press the folder icon here and choose another one. Okay, so I'm using a, a bold one. Let's choose this one here. And now we can head over to the geometry and give it some extrude. Yeah, let's make it point one two, and we can also add a bevel to it. Let's see. Yeah, one point. Well, let's make it point zero one. That looks good. And now we can uh, convert it to a mesh. So just right click on uh, our font and convert to mesh. Okay, let's remesh the letters. So we are selecting our object. Um, head over to the modifier tab and add a remesh modifier. And let's get the voxel size down to something like 0 0.01. Let's make it 0 0.018. And we can apply the modifier. Okay, now I'm going to select some edges from our letters. Uh, we need them later for our cloth simulation. So I'm hitting tab to get back into edit mode and use the edge select, the second um, button here. And you can just double click on one edge here and it selects the whole loop. So let's select this one, um, get into the top view and press S to scale it up a bit. So something like this. And let's select one in the middle here too. So just double click on it and I'm pressing S again to scale it a little bit. And let's do the same with our first letter. So I'm just selecting one loop here and pressing S to scale it up a bit. Okay, now we can select all the edges we just scaled up. So I'm um, holding down shift and selecting them and we need to make a vertex group for them. So click this little icon here. And then on the plus, you can create a new vertex group. Let's call it pin. And with assign, you can assign um, our selection to the group. So just hit assign. And if you want to check if you are um, assigned them correctly, you can just uh, press select and then you see that you selected them. Okay, next thing we can do is get back into object mode. So I'm pressing tab and let's scale this up a bit uh, because we're using a cloth simulation and usually it works better when you got bigger objects. So, so let's first um, set the origin to geometry. So uh, just right click on it and set origin and then origin to geometry. And now we can press S and then five and now we scaled it up five times. That should work for our um, cloth simulation. Okay, let's add our cloth simulation. So I'm selecting the object and get to the modifier tab and then search for cloth and add this. And now we can go to our physics tab and let's put the quality steps to 10. We can select the pressure and let's uh, make the pressure 10 too. And under field weights, you can um, put the gravity to zero. And now we can add the vertex group we um, just saved. So open up shape and yeah, you can select the um, vertex group we just created. So just click on this little icon here and choose the vertex group name pin. Okay, let's see what happens when we run the simulation. So I'm just hitting spacebar. This looks nice. Okay, we can use that. So I'm just um, shade this one smooth, right click and shade smooth. And yeah, let's uh, use this. 
Okay, I am converting our uh, cloth simulation to a mesh, so just right click on it and convert to mesh. And we can add a subdivision surface to our mesh, so just head over to the modifier tab, add modifier and search for subdivision surface. I'm giving it uh, two levels. Okay, let's add this little thing where you blow the air in. I don't know what it's called in English, but maybe you can tell me in the comments. I don't think there's even a name for it. Okay, let's create this. Uh, we are going to hide the text in the viewport and hit Shift A, Mesh and then add a cone. Let's open up this menu here and give it some more vertices, something like 60. Yeah, that's okay. We can right click on it and shade it smooth. Okay, now let's add a little string to our balloon. So I'm hitting Shift A, um, head over to Curve and add a new Bezier Curve. Let's move this up a bit. So I'm pressing G and then Z and move it up. And if you hit Tab, you can get into the Edit Mode and um, move the points around. So I'm selecting this one here and with G I'm moving it. And we can also press E to extrude it to add another point. And let's just place it uh, around the top here. And with S you can scale it down to make the curve a little bit smaller. I'm doing the same with this one here. And I'm placing it somewhere around here. Okay, that's fine. Now we can uh, choose the end point and just drag it down. Let's drag it down to here and pressing E again to extrude it. And let's rotate this point a bit. And we can make this one straight too. And with S scale it down. Yeah, and let's uh, drag it down a bit. Okay, that's fine. So I'm hitting tap again to get back into object mode. <clears throat> and let's add a little bevel to it. So just uh, click on this little icon here. And under bevel, um, I'm holding down shift and dragging this value here. So let's give it a little bit of thickness, something like this looks okay. And we can also um, change the resolution to something like, let's put in 40. And we can also right click on it and shade it smooth. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm hitting tab again to get back into object mode. So let's select both of these objects and press M to put them in a new collection. Let's call it balloon uh, add. And let's uh, make our text visible again. So let's select the text, get into the side view, press R and then type in 90 to rotate it. I'm uh, pressing G and Z to move it up a bit. Now we can scale down uh, these two elements. Just make them a little bit smaller. And let's add them on the bottom of our um, balloons. And yeah, let's give our string a little bit more bevel now since we uh, scaled it down a bit. So let's select it um, and give it a little bit more bevel. Yeah, something like this is okay. And now we can duplicate our two elements uh, with Shift D and then right click. I'm going into the front view and pressing G and move them to the other letter. I'm going to select all of them and moving them somewhere in the middle. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. Okay, let's create a scene for it. Uh, I'm going to duplicate our workspace. So I'm right clicking on layout and click duplicate. And let's drag us a new window. and change this one here to shader editor. I'm pressing N to hide the sidebar and let's get back into object mode, um, select our font and create a new material. And we're gonna make this uh, 
an easy uh, metallic uh, shader so just uh, type in one into the metallic and point two into the roughness let's see how this looks so i'm pressing z and selecting the rendered view uh, we can head over to our render settings and change the render engine to cycles Let's change the viewport samples to 30 and uh, render samples to 400. And let's choose the same materials for our add on the bottom. So I'm selecting them and select the material on both of them. Now let's head over to our uh, world settings and give it a black background. And yeah, let's get back to our first layout tab and add a new light source. So I'm hitting Shift A, uh, create a new light, an area light, press G and Z to move it up, and S to scale it. I'm pressing R to rotate it, and let's place it somewhere here and give it a power of, let's say, 500. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to rotate it a bit and let's duplicate this one with shift D and place it in the back. I'm rotating it and scanning it up a bit. And I'm going to give it a power of 800. Okay, we can add a camera to it. So let's get back into our first layout tab and into the front view and hit shift A and add a new camera. Let's move it somewhere here. And I'm changing the aspect ratios. And let's give it 4000 to 4000. Uh, back to our second layout tab and click this little camera icon here. So yeah, you are in the camera view, locking the camera and let's place it somewhere around here and yeah let's uh, add an hdri so um so i'm in the world settings here and hitting shift a to add an environment texture and now we can open up an hdri so i'm choosing a new black and white hdri and just connect it to the background color and let's say we want to make the background black again. Um, so for this I'm using the uh, mix color node and adding it here. And we need a light path node. And let's add the is camera ray to the factor. And now you can change the color um, of the background and still use the HDRI. So let's make it black. So yeah, we can uh, move the camera around a bit and you got your balloons. So let's say you want to move your um, letters around a bit and uh, separate them from each other. So you can just um, select our, uh, your text, get into um, edit mode and select some faces from one letter and press Ctrl L. So you are um, selecting all the, all the linked uh, faces. Now you can right click on it, click split and then right click again and click separate selection. Now you got your letters separated. So let's say we want to move this one around. So I'm selecting these uh, three um, these three objects and just move them around a bit. And the same with this one here. Something like this. And yeah, you got your balloons. Let's fucking go. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you liked this one. A quick and easy way to uh, create some balloons. And yeah, see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Peace.